looks like a little bit of crunch and charge build up in the magnetophos. <clears throat> and some strong magnet field lines behind this. People telling you this is weak don't understand an electron magnet. <laughs> when you need power to an electron magnet, what do you do? You add power to it. Now it's got more strength. A little power to it. It's got some more power. They pick up the car. This is pushing things away. Closed field lines push away other magnets. Covered it in several videos on my bit shoot about how, and probably here, <laughs> about how magnets repel other magnets with closed field lines. As you can see the red ones are closed. They're very strong. This is induction, inducing energy from the bow shot to power up what's going on behind us. She's very strong, not weak. And not to mention, the globe here is on fire. You know, except for Texas. <laughs> All right, so there's millions of cows, 10,000 of them in feedlot, feedlot cattle died in a day. Um, that's like one feedlot I'm looking at. with a bunch of dead cows. None of that makes sense. The heat thing. Um, I don't believe it's the heat. Why wouldn't... My, we were hotter out here. My cows are fine. Um, 10,000 out of, what, 2 million to 5 million cows in Kansas and on, on this feedlot. That doesn't even make sense. They're going to a length to explain this. Now, I'm not going to say what it was. I'm a little curious as to why. I mean, was it neglect? Because there's an awful lot of cows that didn't die of the heat. I saw a bunch of cows. I, that's the pictures, palm videos. The cows hanging out and doing their thing, you know, in 107. <laughs> well, this is exciting. Um, so the Russians have openly begun... Uh, attacking our bases and our friends' bases in Syria, and uh, we're bragging about sinking their shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I told you World War Three has begun. But last week. Yeah, there's another one. Just yeah, you know, what like the second, third in a day. This is actual Russia going into Syria, bombing shit. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of making light of it. It's funny. Um, yeah, it's actually funny because you are looking at it all wrong. It is an induction furnace, and it has a big red one behind it. <laughs> That's where the UV's coming from.
see, I'm reading the fire on Tony King. That's up by uh, below Springs between the. It just every time I look, there's new Colorado fires. I was tripping on sweltering. Gotta love the power outages. Now, I know there's a dealio with the trains and trucks having issues with the fuel. I'm telling you, the corn died. I gave you video after video. The corn died for three years. It's still dead, laying in the field. No one's replanted it for great big swaths of miles and miles and miles. There's no food for the damn supply chain to be messed up. The cows are in the field, but you can't get them to these feedlots. And obviously, if you do, someone's going to kill them. Because <laughs> that wasn't heat. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. It was 107. I got cows out here running all over the place. See, I just sent this to Polly, what, last, yesterday morning? Got a lot of doubt this morning. By the time I get home. A little more cows. I had cows escaping up here. Yeah, I was tired. They were in the ditch over here. I couldn't even point it. I was doing 70. So. <laughs> I told you before martial law began that they had to put it there because there was going to be shortages and people would notice that they had to have the excuse in place before it happened. And uh, I hit that day. Now, I've seen that was what, two years ago? And, you know, skeptics be all like, oh, yeah, well, that was then, this is now. What? I said it would begin. I said it would begin. And people would notice. And they needed an excuse in place. Now look at it. You're still trying to make it something else. It's crazy. Well, this one's getting pretty big. Over here. Right below me. But yeah, there's a lot of new fires in Colorado too. And New Mexico, Arizona. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm off to bed. <laughs> Have a good day. That whole thing about new fires in Texas? I lied. <laughs> About four hours ago when it started, I guess. Sorry, Glenn. I found a few. You got a few more today. Started today. Don't worry, man. Texas isn't excluded. Wait. Ah, there's one they put out. See? I'm doing all right. What do you got out here? Oh, my God. It's so active. Glenn, there is hope. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I mean, like, we got weak old ones up here in Arizona, and they've got, like, huge fires going on. These guys have been going on for a couple months. They're 336,000 freaking acres over here. This one here is at 45,000 freaking acres, you know, and they keep going. This one here is three acres. It just started six hours ago. I mean, we've got one a week ago here in New Mexico also. It's now 1,400 acres. Nobody's really mentioned any of these bigger. There's another one on the other side of the thing. started a month ago. 2,000 acres. And these are burning active fires. 1,500 acres. Started a month ago. So these things are just continuing to go and build and start new fires and <clears throat> kind of crazy sitting here watching it every day thinking oh no, no. it'll calm down <laughs> no it's not 
It's not. We saw this beginning in the Yucatan and it has spread northward. There's the reason why. We have high EV. We have three sun systems. These plants can't take the heat and the energy. That's what it is. It ain't dues. It ain't hard. It ain't your chemtrails. <laughs> Do your homework. You should probably expect a little bit more than yesterday. 